Hello everybody, it's me, Big Daddy Brian, and I'm doing this episode solo dolo. We're going to talk about what arc is the worst in One Piece. If you've been watching One Piece for a long time, you know that there's usually five arcs that are at the bottom of the list, and it's usually always the same. It usually involves Sierra Village, Orange Town, Long Ring, Long Land, Whiskey Peak, and Little Garden. But before we talk about what arc is the worst in One Piece, I just want to say One Piece arcs are usually pretty good. I don't really think there's a bad, bad arc that's unwatchable. Most of the arcs always have something interesting going on. So when it comes to the worst One Piece arc, I think it's still better than most other anime arcs that you'll see. But since we're doing the worst arc in One Piece, there has to be a loser. So let's start talking about some of these arcs. So I don't think Whiskey Peak should be considered the worst arc in One Piece just because it's too short for that. I mean, guys, it's four episodes. Like, if it's boring, it's boring, but at least it's only a couple episodes. Like, if it was drawn out to, like, 20 episodes, then yeah, it should be considered the worst arc, but it's only four episodes. And with that logic, I also think Orange Town shouldn't be considered the worst arc either, just because it's also five episodes. And plus, both arcs have good things going on with them. I mean, in Whiskey Peak, we got to see Zoro defeat 100 bounty hunters. And in Orange Town, we got to see one of the best characters of One Piece, Buggy, be introduced. So both arcs have something interesting and good going on that I just don't consider them one of the worst arcs. And plus, it's short, guys. It's not a big deal. If I had to say a con for both arcs, I would say that Whiskey Peak was just weird. It was weird for having a fight between Zoro and Luffy. Like, it made no sense for those two to fight. Up to this point, we've seen that Luffy trusts Zoro. So why would Luffy in this moment, after a food coma, want to murder Zoro? Luffy legit says, I'm going to kill Zoro. Like, that just seems out of character for Luffy to ever say to Zoro. The fight between the two just felt forced. It felt like Oda just needed to sell some volumes. And that's the only real issue I have with Whiskey Peak. Other than that, I think it's an alright arc. I sat down for a minute and thought about some Orange Town cons that I would have, but for real, I couldn't think of anything. I legit think this is a good arc. Instead, I'm going to use this time to give it some positives. Like, I legit love the backstory for Shushu. I'm a sucker for a story about a dog waiting for his dead owner to come back. Every time I see Shushu's backstory, I legit just draw manly tears. Now let's talk about Little Garden where we got to meet our two giants, Bragi and Dory. I don't think this arc is that bad. It has a lot of things going on where it had a big impact on the story. We got to see Sanji be Mr. Prince. And we got to see Nami get stung by something that led to Chopper joining the crew. And this is the arc where it first mentions Elbaf, which is insane because it's been 20 plus years and we still haven't been on that island. Hopefully in 2024 we get on that island, guys. It's crazy how big of an impact Little Garden has on two major arcs that many people consider to be the best of One Piece. I'm talking about Eni's Lobby and Alabasta. I mean, of course Little Garden has an impact on Alabasta. It's a part of the Alabasta saga. What's crazy is without this arc, who knows if the Strahds were going to be able to save Robin in Eni's Lobby. The crew knowing about Bragi and Dory helped them get Oimoi and Kashi to help them fight against the world government officials in Eni's lobby. So without them, who knows if they were going to be able to escape Eni's lobby or even save Robin. So I think it's pretty easy for me to say Orangetown, Whiskey Peak, and Little Garden aren't the worst arcs in One Piece. Now let's talk about one of the arcs that I feel like most people will say is the worst arc, Long Ring, Long Land. And guys, this is my hot take. I love Long Ring, Long Land. Legit, it was the first arc that I saw of One Piece. And I know that might sound weird, but imagine this. A 13-year-old me watching Cartoon Network late at night, and they show Long Ring, Long Land. And I remember, guys, when I first saw it, I was legit like, this anime looks weird. I was used to watching Naruto, Dragon Ball, but One Piece animation just looked weird to me. But I gave it a shot just because I loved anime and I wanted to see what this One Piece anime was all about. And I loved it. So imagine my face when I found out that people hated this arc. I loved it. I loved it especially just because of how wacky it is. And if people want to see what One Piece humor is, just show them Long Ring Long Land. That's all it is, just humor. It's not like this arc didn't have an impact on the One Piece story. This is the first time we got to meet Aokiji. Like, I get that this arc had filler in the anime, but still, I just didn't think it was a big deal. I loved the whole thing through and through. And if you hate this arc, I just feel like Oda putting Aokiji in the end of this arc just makes up for it. Like, this man pulled up, and he destroyed the crew like nothing, and it was just him by himself. So in my mind, I can't say this is the worst arc in One Piece, because Big Daddy Brian loves this arc. But when it comes to Sierra Village, guys, I legit think it's the worst arc in One Piece. 
And I know there's going to be people out there saying, Brian, it's not the worst arc. Like, we got introduced to Usa, man. Yeah, it's cool we got introduced to Usa, but legit, when I was watching this arc in One Piece, I wanted to drop One Piece. I did not want to keep watching it. But I kept hearing from people, you need to keep watching until you get to the Barte arc. If you want to drop after the Barte arc, then it's okay. So I was like, I can't drop it yet. I need to keep watching. And when I recommend this anime, I legit get scared to recommend it just because of this arc. Sierra Village just doesn't have anything interesting going on. Kuro isn't a bad villain, but he's mid. The fights in this arc were mid. Just everything about this arc was mid. I guess the only real good thing that came out of this arc was the going merry. To me, this arc is just boring. I do not care about the Meow Bomb brothers, Django, Kuro, like all of that is just mid. Usopp grew on me later, but in this arc, when you first get introduced to him, he's just boring too and annoying. Usopp is a character that I have to see his character grow to fall in love with him. So when you first see him, you're supposed to get annoyed. You're supposed to not like him. But that doesn't mean the arc is going to be good. And that's why I just hate Zero Village. Like when the One Piece live action came out, I was legit worried what they were going to do with the Zero Village arc. Just because it's one of the worst arcs in One Piece. And what they did to the arc made it better, but it was still mid. Like it wasn't that good. Like if I had to tell you what the worst episodes in the One Piece live action were, it was the ones with the Zero Village arc in it. Like, I legit remember sitting down with my girlfriend and watching the live action and just pausing it for a moment in that arc and being shook that I still had 40 minutes left in that one episode. I was legit like, oh my god, it felt like I watched like 50 minutes of this arc already and we still had a lot more to go. And she agreed with me. It's not hard for me to call Serial Village the worst arc in One Piece. Just because the other arcs we mentioned were like 3 episodes, 4 episodes, 5 episodes. The only one that was really long was Long Ring Long Land with 13 episodes. But again guys, I told you, I love that arc. Now Serial Village is the complete opposite. It legit made me want to stop watching One Piece. That's the end of the video. But comment down below what you think are the 5 worst arcs in One Piece. Shout out to you guys for listening. I really appreciate it. Whoops, I almost forgot. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep watching these type of videos. I upload the audio of these videos on my podcast, A Dream Ghost, A One Piece Lover. You can find it on any app that you listen to podcasts on, like Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You guys can listen to it anywhere. But shout out to you guys for listening. Bye!